This is Joey Baxter with Insight Fire Training, here today to give you a quick thermal imaging tip and talking about beginning our scan with a thermal imaging camera. We have a bad habit in the fire service, and it comes from some old methodology that even our training company taught at one time. It came from the six-sided scan. The very first place that we taught to stick that camera was in the upper 36 inches of that compartment towards the ceiling. We want to break that habit. We want to start with that camera down low, so if we have a dual gain camera or tri-mode camera where we go from high to low sensitivity, we want to keep it in high sensitivity for as long as possible. That lower 36 inches gives us life and layout. We start to see where furniture is and the layout of the house, where we're going. And we're also looking to see if maybe possibly we see somebody. We don't clear spaces with thermal imaging camera, but we might see a victim. Whenever we point that camera up, we run the risk of putting it in the exhaust portion of the flow path, which we've all learned so much about. But in that exhaust portion, there's a lot of stuff, such as moisture, that can get on the lens of that thermal imaging camera and degrade our image. So whenever we stick it up, we want to quickly look for convection currents and thermal patterns that will give us the location of the fire, give us clues towards which direction we can find the seat of the fire.